Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Landis? Quite a day we're here doing a ranked 1v1. So, fun fact I recorded these videos yesterday. Um, I recorded these videos yesterday, but I hadn't slept in about 40 hours. Sorry, Soul is very loud, so I decided to let her have her moment. <laughs> But I recorded these videos yesterday, but it ha I hadn't slept for about 40 hours and I really wasn't um, I didn't feel good about the way the videos came out. I did Seoul and I did uh, Sun Wukong. So I was like, you know, I was trying to get ahead of the work schedule a bit. But uh, when you're sleep deprived and you're trying to push your work schedule a bit too far, then you end up getting kind of subpar videos. And I wasn't comfortable putting shitty videos like that on my channel. Um, and I know there's going to be someone in the comments. All your videos are shitty, Sam. <laughs> That's okay, dude. <laughs> At least you're watching. I appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I just didn't feel like putting those those videos on my channel would do any kind of justice to me or my channel in general. So, <clears throat> I decided to just re-record them. Uh, what did he say? I love your videos. This will be a learning experience for me. Oh, yeah, gamer. Good luck. I shouldn't be saying good luck to him because he's Bologna, so he wins this matchup. But he is a fan, and if anyone's going to beat me... By golly, it's going to be a fan of mine. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to poke out here. I have pretty decent clear. Um, I don't know if I would say I have better clear than Bologna, but I definitely can match her clear. Especially if I have pressure like I do right now. Um, So somebody came to my Twitch stream yesterday. Actually, while I was offline, but he came to the stream and was like, Hey, Sam. I really love soul. Is there any chance that you could do like um, more of like a coaching type of video with her? And I think that I will for you, buddy. I think I will. Right now, there's obviously nothing really to coach. I'm just kind of farming and trying to clear. Um, With your two, you do want to aim it to the side of the wave rather than at the wave like most gods. You want to do that because it will get the whole wave rather than just the front three or like the front four or five, you know? So if you haven't been doing that, that's definitely something you should be doing with soul. And they buffed soul's passive to be six seconds long instead of four. If you don't know what I mean, I'm talking about how long it takes soul's passive to, I guess, go away after not being in combat. And before it was four seconds. Now it is six seconds. Um, I threw that too a little bit early because Bologna's positioning scared me a bit so that messed up my clear, but also I think Bologna's doing these mids over here, which is messing up her. Oh, okay. Well, there's his shell and his alt. That was extremely aggressive for no reason, really, because I don't think that he quite literally will ever kill me there. I have my shell. I have my self peel with my three and my alt. Um, he doesn't have any finished items in order to actually win the fight. You know what I mean? Nor, I mean, nor do I. But if he's tanking all these, all these minions, then maybe I can poke him down a bit. Or we could just kind of ignore him and we could come over here and do red buff. I do have my alt still, which I'm going to be using as kind of my saving grace for secure right here. If he does contest, which I assume he will. Uh, he's not. Okay. Cool. Now, I'm being really greedy. And I don't recommend you do this if you're playing any god, let alone soul. But I'm being really greedy here, getting this wave and then the buff and stuff. Obviously, I could have backed a long time ago for finished uh, Bancrofts. It's, why is it so bad? It's, it's so bad because he could have gotten four buffs and I would have only gotten two. You know, the red buff and the blue buff. Obviously, I can catch up here by getting my speed buff and my blue buff, but um, it's still four buffs to four buffs when it should be five buffs to three buffs. So I uh, I did, you know, the greed I don't think really paid off for me. It's more just like seeing how long I could hold out without backing. And that is not a good play to do. But again, it's okay. And I'm because uh, the person did want this to be a coaching video. I'm more or less just going to be building the way I really would on soul. Um, and yesterday's video when I did it, I built all lifesteal for the meme. 
And it was fun. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think that's a more fun way to build. But it's not the most efficient way to win. And I, I you know, when you're coaching, that's what people want to know. So I'm going to be building what I think to be the correct way to build soul. Obviously, everyone's builds. Um, people have, you know, differing opinions of builds and whatnot, but... So normally I start out with uh, lifesteal boots sure and is, Bancrofts just because Soul has the heal on her one, which increases based on how low she is. Um, and she also has uh, like obviously Bancrofts and and lifesteal boots is gonna make her sustain very very strong. She has a really low HP pool, just in general as a mage, uh, one of the squishier mages. The only god actually with less HP starting than her is hell so you are really really squishy in the beginning and you got to make sure that you know that but with this build i mean even though you're super squishy you're able to pump out a lot of damage and have a lot of sustain so you don't need to be that scared all right just clearing like for instance i have 1150 hp at level 10 he has 11 four or he has 1400 hp at level nine so like you can see you can kind of see the difference there all right just poking while i can obviously while he's trying to clear the wave uh his blue might be up i think it is up i wish i didn't drop my ward so i could check to see if his blue is up which by the way i do recommend doing um i don't i ward near red buff just out of habit and it's, it's definitely not the best thing to do you should save your wards to see if their blue is up most of the time see if you can go for a steal there he's not going to be able to contest this red which is great for me i'm going to pick it up i actually like blue like a lot on soul i'm going to go for a kill here nice now the reason i decided to go for a kill right there is because when i hit the two i knew he would be slowed but the slow's not enough unless you react immediately like like basically unless i use my alt while my two is in the air it wouldn't have killed which is why i i went for it and in order to hit to get the kill i not only had to hit the two and like pre-use the alt but i also had to hit all of my alt <laughs> so it was a little, I wouldn't say risky because I was literally at no risk other than like being down an alt, um, which is fine because I can just run around for a second. I don't know what second relic I want yet. I'm thinking horrific, but I want to make sure he doesn't go sprint first. But uh, it, I, yeah, I wouldn't say it was risky for me to do that because I wouldn't have lost anything. But it was uh, it was ballsy. It was ballsy to do because I could I definitely could have just been down it's and better all. To look out for ourselves. Which uh, you know, obviously not Amazing, ideal. That's okay though. We're doing pretty good. I'm maxing my one instead of my three. By the way, I know some souls max their three so they can kite better during fights. I personally don't like that. Um, only reason is because I like to cancel my three immediately and just get back into the fight. Unless, you know, obviously you really need to do otherwise. But, I mean, everyone knows that I'm just an aggressive player. That's just how I play this game. Like, way too aggressive for no reason. But it makes it fun for me, so that's that's why I do it. Alright, we're, we're, I mean, really this is all exactly like an ideal soul game to learn from. Like, it's just... Clearing the wave and, and pressuring your enemy because you are going to be able to pressure and get objectives objectives extremely fast with soul. Like that's kind of her whole thing is being able to out pressure with decent wave clear and then taking towers, you know, like that's her whole thing. Can you keep up? Uh, he's going to be super fast because of his passive. So I don't I don't think I can catch up with my three, unfortunately okay though just slowly clearing waves red buff did spawn i do want to go get that and unfortunately my damage is not very good because i went breastplate just to make sure i didn't get goomba stomped uh my next item because he is going defense right now 
I think is actually going to be demonic. On a normal game, I would go Telekines here, I think. But because he's a warrior and he's building defense right now, I think really the only chance I have at maintaining aggression and being able to kill is demonic. And he does have finished Ditch of All, so he, if he does get close to me, I gotta... I gotta run. I don't think I can I can box him if he's punching me in the forehead. And this is kind of where the matchup starts to fall apart, by the way, just so everyone's clear. Once he uh once the Bologna starts getting auto attack items, like get your and toxic blade and shit, that's when the soul loses this game. So what am I doing right now? I'm trying to be hyper aggressive. Pushing probably too much if I'm completely honest and uh and trying to get this phoenix right here I just want to keep like I said keep this aggression make my passive stay stay up if I can't I'm gonna use my three here because I assume he's gonna try to three me all right not bad he's got 500 HP on his phoenix which means I could probably backdoor that but I would definitely die, and I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I'm just going to run away. I'll let him clear this wave um, at the expense of basically letting me pick up my, my buffs. Like, he has, he has <clears throat> excuse me, free clear the wave, and I have free clear the buffs. I'm going to back. I, I, this is, I'm always so torn between this. Like, all three of these rings I want to get, they're all so good. Um... Oh, he got horrific. I'm going to go sprint, actually. I wanted to go horrific, but I was waiting to see if he would go sprint. But because he went horrific, I'm going to go sprint. I mean, it's just a complete counter. Not to mention, if he's, like, punching me in the forehead, I would like to not be punched in the forehead. Just, like, I mean, I think that goes for everyone as a general rule of thumb. You should probably not like being punched in the forehead. Unless, you know, that's your thing, I guess. But, um... Red buff is spawning soon, so I want to make sure I'm in position for that. I also, he's going double defense, so I am glad that I went Telekines here. Or not Telekines, I'm sorry. A Demonic. I'm glad that I went for the, the pen build here. And I am going to get more pen, by the way. This is not the only pen I'm getting. But him going immediately into, like, Pestilence into what I assume is a Shogun's. I'm, I'm pretty happy with my, my choice of build. All right, right now, I'm trying to stop his back as fast as I can because if I stop his back, it makes him run back to base, which gives my minions more time to get to the wave or to my minions more time to get to the Phoenix, which means I can get the Phoenix for free because I'm soul. Let's go. So every time you stop a back, you got to think of why you're stopping, right? Obviously, there's some times when you're just like, fuck it. I just don't want this guy to be happy, so I'm going to stop his back. Like, obviously... People think like that, but ah fuck! Hold on, I'm dying. But um, if you can actually get something from stopping a back, you should. And in my case, I was getting a phoenix, which is absolutely the right play. All right, shell down. I'm actually really surprised he didn't horrific me there. Or maybe he did, but I was in my three, so I didn't see him do it. What? That could be the, the reason. But we got... I know for a fact that we got his ult in his shell, which is really good. He is one level away from getting his animosity online, which kind of fucking scares me if I'm honest with you. But... Maybe... I wish I could go Frostbound. If I could go Frostbound, this would be dope, but I can't. Yeah, he did go Shogun's like I assumed he would. Amazing, isn't it? All right. <clears throat> Bond, please. The reason I used my one was for my passive, not for the damage. All right, and then I can clear this wave because it is coming into tower here. Oh, there's only three minions. Yep. All right. I'm just going to back and I'm going to get Telekines here. I could go into a Toxic Blade, which wouldn't be bad because it's a little bit extra HP, which obviously will help me stay alive. And it's a little bit of 
base pen on it too. I believe it's 15 base pen. Yeah, it's 15 base pen. So, I mean, it's really Amazing, good, but... I think I'll just go that maybe next item. Or I could go mid guardian, actually. He's double defense. Maybe I respond with a, no a double defense of my own. Matchup wise, though, I'm just using my three to try to make sure that he, he can't stay next to me. And then if he does stay next to me, anyways, I got to use all, all my shit together at the same time. There we go. So, the animosity, he did have animosity. Did 500 damage to me. Ouch. <laughs> so, the way I lived there was just by using my three for, for his three. Which, it didn't really work out in that fight, but I've been doing it all game, so I'm okay saying it. Um, <clears throat> and then when he ulted, I used my sprint and then peeled with my own ult. Nice, GG. Um, when he ulted, I used my sprint and peeled with my own ult so that I could get some distance. And then after that, I just was juking in the minion wave. And it, when you're, when you're doing a matchup like this, where he wins the fight, if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, you got to make sure that you have minions next to you so that you can try to try to get those autos off of you for a second. Cause mm -hmm. the way that the way that Bologna wins the fight, um, is by using the one and then hitting you and every three autos he hits you he gains one block stack right so he's lowering your attack speed increasing his own attack speed or, or increasing his own fighting potential by getting block stacks and eventually because of each of all he'll be able to block almost every auto you throw so the only way to counter that really is to make sure he's not hitting you with those autos because it only works if he's hitting a god with those autos so by juking in the mini wave, I'm making sure that he's not blocking my auto attacks, basically. And yeah, I mean, soul is pretty simple. It's not much coaching that you'd need to do or not much of a guide you'd need to follow, really. It's more just in the very beginning of the game, make sure you have your passive up. Um, make sure that, you, that you're managing your passive well with your one and your two. I don't suggest using your three. I would I would rather have my passive drop than use my three for my passive. Um, unless I'm hitting a tower at the time. Because your escape is important, obviously. But that goes for everything though. You know, like if you're uh if you're not if you if you use your escape aggressively, you should expect to die. That's just how it works. I mean But yeah, so for early game soul, you're going to want to get your passive up. Use your two and your one to clear the wave and, and maintain your passive. Mm -hmm. And then instead of going and farming in the early game with soul, take the tower. Like, like just completely out pressure your opponent. Take the tower. And once you have the tower down, that's when you start farming and getting ahead in levels. Obviously, I'm three levels ahead of this guy. Um, So <clears throat> after you're done getting that tower down, which should honestly happen in the first two or three minutes of the game then you start farming getting that level lead advantage and then eventually you either go do the same thing to the phoenix where you're clearing the wave and just out pressuring and trying to get phoenix down slowly like i did in this game which you know i did i took phoenix like 500 hp at a time over the course of four or five waves um you can either do that or you can get to level 20 finish your build go do bull demon and then get phoenix but that's i mean it's basically just the same thing really not much to soul she's, she's i'd say like mechanically one of the simpler gods once you understand the mechanics between her passive and her, how her two hits things but then after that it's all just like punch him in the head with with autos and i do think my build was good by the way but I would have gone mid guardian here instead of uh, instead of bringing a Hecate. Anyways, I'm done talking. Thanks for listening to me talk. I appreciate it. I feel bad. I shouldn't have left the lobby. I was gonna talk to that guy. God damn it. I hope he messages me. Um. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. I heard you. Nice. You didn't even yell that loud that time. Wait, was that, when you yelled that loud, was that in one of my other videos?
Oh, they're not going to see it? Oh, it was yesterday. Oh, right, right. 